Hi, St. John's friends and family. Today's verse is Psalm 23, and it says, The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his namesake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I don't know about you, but I find a lot of peace from that verse. This year hasn't been a walk in the park. Um, we've lost loved ones to the COVID-19 pandemic. We've seen our country divided over political parties. We've watched our friends and neighbors suffer and bring light to racial injustice in our city and in our nation. Thousands of people, if not millions, have been out of work, without a home, and without a plan for the future. Our world is full of sin and it is broken, but there is hope. There is a bright light in the darkness and that hope and that light is Jesus. On page 379 of the Book of Common Prayer, it says, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who was tempted in every way as we are, yet did not sin. By his grace, we are able to triumph over every evil and to live no longer for ourselves alone, but for him who died for us and rose again. One of my favorite worship songs right now is called Graves into Gardens by Elevation Worship. And in the song, it says that the God that the God of the mountains is also the God of the valleys, that you turn mourning into dancing, you give beauty to ashes, you turn shame into glory, and you're the only one who can. As we prepare for Easter and we travel through this Lenten season, remember that you are not alone. You are loved and known by a God who cares so deeply for you that he gave his own life for you. I hope you find peace today knowing that even when you walk through the darkest valleys, God is with you. He loves you and he is for you. I'm going to end in a prayer today and this prayer is by Corinne de Winter. Let us pray. I pray today for those who are homeless to find shelter, for those who are depressed to discover joy, those who are addicted to find release, those who are lonely to find a friend, those are who are confused or lost to find a path. Those who are heartbroken to know that it will pass. Those who are sick to find healing. Those who live in darkness to be covered in light. Those who are dying to know that they have lived. I pray today for peace where there is unrest, for love to prevail over all. And it's in your name we pray. Amen.